Hi everybody, Sandra here. In this video, I am going to show you our solar power system that we have put into the 1965 truck camper that I'm standing inside of. And this camper is something that we bought back in April of 2017, this year. And we've been working on not really restoring it, but refurbishing it. And we are now pretty close to uh, setting off on our first trip in it. But this is about the solar panels, so I'm going to get back to that. In this video, I will be armed with this diagram that represents the setup of our system. And I'm going to go around and show you all of the different components and where they are in the truck camper. This is not really intended to be a super technical video, but it is showing basically the parts of our system and how they're all hooked together. I am up on the roof of our truck camper, or rather I am looking through the hatch here. These are our three 100 watt solar panels and they are from Renogy. They're mounted to the top of the camper on this frame that Dave built. And on our diagram, you see them represented here. They send power into the truck camper through a 10 amp inline fuse that is located out here. You can't really see it, it's over there on the other side. Then the wires from that go into the truck camper through the roof. They come in right here and they run behind this metal channel through the bed platform and into this cabinet. Here's a look at what's inside the cabinet. So on our diagram, here's the solar panels. It's coming in through this fuse, through the roof. It goes into the cabinet. And once inside the cabinet, it runs through this, uh, represented on here by a little box with an S. That is this switch. And that is a cutoff switch that enables us to turn off the power coming in from the solar panels up above from the rest of the system. It's a disconnect. That way you can de-energize your system. So right there is that switch and then it goes into this and that's this gray device which is our solar charge controller. From the charge controller the power then runs out of it through a 40 amp inline fuse. That's one of these. From there it goes down into the battery which is located down here. 200 amp hour battery that we got from energy from the battery to get the power to all of the lights and the fans inside the camper there is a wire that runs out through a 30 amp fuse into a fuse panel so here's the battery here's that 30 amp fuse and then it runs up in behind here where you can't see to this fuse panel just like in your house you have a fuse box um, that's basically what this device is for the camper. From the fuse box, the wires go out into the camper to the various lights, fans, etc. On this diagram, you'll notice this MT50 tracer meter coming out from the side of the charge controller. So here's the charge controller. Here's the wires that go to that device, which is over here on the wall mounted above our fuse panel. It's from Renogy, it's called the MT50 tracer meter. And that basically gives you a little bit of information about the power coming in from your solar panels and what's going on with the charging of your battery. So that pretty much covers the 12 volt side of the power supply. We also have in this system a 1000 watt inverter, which is this black box here. It's a pure sine wave, which is supposed to be the best. It is connected from the battery through a 100 amp fuse, which is in here, it's one of these, and then it runs to the power inverter. So to, from the battery, through the fuse, into this device. This is for running tools, uh, charging batteries and things, and also running our laptops. And unless it has something plugged into it and then we're using it, it's off. There's a switch right here that turns that on. 
So here's a good shot of our wiring diagram. If you want to study this closer, you can find a picture of this on our website. I'll leave a link down below also on Instagram and Facebook. So that about does it for how our solar power is hooked up on the truck camper. I will put a link in the description down below to the various places where you can go and find even more information and details about this system that we put together, um, pictures of all of the different parts that we use, stuff like that. So if you are interested further, you can go check those things out. Once again, you'll find the links down below in the description. So in conclusion, I would say that hooking up your solar power system properly is very important and you should not take it lightly. That being said, I feel like there's a lot of information out there and if you are willing to put in the time and energy to learn, you should be able to hook up a system like this. I mean, it wasn't super difficult. I hope you have found this video interesting and or informative and I really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in more videos about this truck camper build that Dave and I have done, then you can check out the truck camper playlist. There'll be a link at the end of this video popping up just about here. Thanks for watching. Bye.